So before start the project explanation, I would like to tell you what are different types of hardware we are using in this project. So first you can see we have ultrasonic sensor which detect the level of water. Then we have mini water pump uh, which pump the water from this tank and send this water to into this uh, another tank. Then we have rel relay model. So basically the relay model is used to turn on and turn off the water pump. Then we have two LED, L red LED and green LED. So when the project start, this red LED will turn on, relay will turn on and water start pumping from this first tank. So after uh, after water start pumping and goes into the second tank. So once the distance between the water and the ultra ultrasonic sensor is below five five centimeter, then automatically relay will turn off, green LED turn on, and water pump stop working so that water will will not fill into this tank. So this is the complete flow of this project. Now I will start the project so that you can see real working of this project. So I am starting the project. Please focus on the water pump and uh, LED status. Now you can see water start pumping. Red LED turn on because uh, distance is not greater than uh, less than five centimeter. Now you can see once the distance is less than five centimeter, pump stop working. And green LED will turn on and motor stop working. So this is the complete idea behind this project. I hope you understand the working flow of this project. Now we will see the hardware connection of this project. But I request you please subscribe my channel. Currently you can see I have uploaded more video on many video on Raspberry Pi, Arduino, then Python programming, then some uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career. So if you want to learn something from me, it is free and you have to just click on this subscribe button and all the video it is it is very unique and you will learn definitely many things from me i uploaded mostly video on raspberry pi mostly video on iot then arduino there are different types of project i have explained and each project having the programming part so please subscribe my channel please support me and please enhance your knowledge by watching my video okay before start the hardware connection i would like to tell you when you buy the raspberry pi from the market you can see this raspberry pi you will get and one pin of raspberry pi is this pin you can see you can see uh, this is the power supply and power supply first pin is nothing on the first pin of raspberry pi then second then third then fourth and then five then six so odd number pin comes at this side even number pin come at this side so if you want to understand the pin structure you can draw this pin structure on the any your paper and paste that paper on the raspberry pi so so that you can easily identify the raspberry pi pin in the future so I will just whatever my pin structure I will just add here. Now you can see easily I can now you can see easily I can identify the pin structure of Raspberry Pi first number, second number, third number, fourth number. So you should do this so that you will get uh, pin number easily. Now we will connect hardware one by one. So first part is this circuit. So basically you can see this is the common, this is a common ground circuit. So whatever the common power supply from the Raspberry Pi, I, I will take here. So you can also make this circuit on your breadboard also or on your zero PCB. So just you have to take the common VCC and common ground. So I will first take the common VCC and common ground from the Raspberry Pi on this point. So Raspberry Pi six number pin act as a ground pin. So I will first connect the six number pin to negative side of that circuit. So I will take the six number pin and I will connect to negative side of this circuit. So, so this completely all the pin act as a common ground. Now the next is four number pin of Raspberry Pi will act as a common power supply that is a five volt. So I will connect the second four number pin to the common power supply. So this is the four number pin of Raspberry Pi and that I will connect to the common VCC here. So in this way the first part is completed. Now the second part is we have to connect this ultrasonic sensor with Raspberry Pi. So as you see on the screen ultrasonic sensor having the four pin. First pin is ground then trigger then echo then VCC. So we have to connect this four pins to the Raspberry Pi. So for that uh, you, you need male to female connector. So I will place a ultrasonic sensor here. So first pin is VCC pin you can see. And this is this is the VCC pin also you can see name here on the ultrasonic sensor that is a VCC. So I will take first pin as a VCC pin and that pin should be connected to the common uh, 5 volt. So common 5 volt we already taken at here. So 
connect VCC pin to the common 5 volt. Then last pin is nothing but the then next pin is then next pin of ultrasonic sensor is nothing but the trigger pin and as per the code trigger pin is connected to connected to raspberry pi 11 number so i will take the trigger pin so i will take the trigger pin of a ultrasonic sensor and that should be connected to raspberry pi 11 number so that is here then after that you can see echo pin is connected to 12 number so this is the third pin and this is the so echo pin should be connected to 12 number so you can see on the ultra sensor the third pin is echo pin so echo pin from ultrasonic sensor i will connect to the 12 number of raspberry pi okay echo pin also connected to the 12 number only the uh, only the remaining last pin that is the ground pin uh, only remaining the last pin that is the ground pin of ultrasonic sensor and that should be connected to the common ground of our raspberry pi circuit the ground pin is should be connected to the common ground of raspberry pi now i will connect it here so in this way connection of ultrasonic sensor with raspberry pi is completed very easy you have to connect a vcc pin to vcc ground to ground then trigger pin to 11 number of raspberry pi and echo pin to 12 number of raspberry pi that's it only now the next part is we have to connect the relay board with raspberry pi so how to connect the relay board with raspberry pi again you can see on the relay board having the three pin vcc ground and input you can see there are three pin vcc ground and input so here you can see there is a vcc then there is a ground and there is an input pin so first pin is vcc pin so you should first connect the vcc pin to the common vcc so i will take one pin and the vcc pin i have taken here and this vcc pin should be connected to common vcc so you can see this is the common vcc of raspberry pi okay first part is completed now the next part is ground pin so ground pin should be connected to common ground of relay board so common ground of raspberry pi connected here from the relay okay that's it completed now the third pin of relay is input pin and the relay input pin should be connected to raspberry pi 13 number so connect relay input pin to the raspberry pi 13 number okay so third part is also completed and very easy now the next part is you can see there are two led green led and red led so you can see there are two led green and red led so green led positive point here and negative point point of green led is connected to one point of register and second point of register is connected to the ground of raspberry pi now the same is red led you can see red led positive pin is connected to register and register next part is connected to the raspberry pi and ground pin is connected to raspberry pi ground pin common so very simple connection there are two pins and you can take any value register 1k also or 500 ohm also it's depend upon your uh, choice so first is we have to connect the common ground pin of both led to the common ground so green led ground should be connected to ground pin now red led ground pin should be connected to common ground so both ground pin of led i have connected to the common ground now the next part is vcc pin that is a positive pin of led so let's say for the green led positive pin should be connected to 15 number of raspberry pi so you can see 15 number is here now i will connect here okay so it is completed now the next part is red led positive pins so this is the red led positive pins and it should be connected to the 16 number of raspberry pi so connect here to 16 number of raspberry pi okay that's it it's very simple connection now the only uh, last remaining part is our mini water pump motor so you can see this is the mini water pump motor and if you buy this mini water pump motor you can see there are two pins on this mini water pump so first pin is so first pin is you can see red pin and the next pin is ground so red pin is nothing but the positive voltage of this uh, 
water pump and ground pin is nothing but the common ground so how to connect this motor with relay module this is a very important point so first you can see so i will take again the relay board for your explanation so you can see on the relay board there are three pins at the output you can see three pins at the output so at the middle side there is a one pin so middle one pin should be connected to the common ground pin of our circuit and the this pin this side pin that is current considered as open character pin this pin should be connected to the uh, your motor ground pin okay you understand so middle one pin of relay is connected to the common ground it's okay and the this pin is connected to the motor output pin that is the motor ground pin so this is my motor ground pin you can see i have connected here so motor ground pin i have connected to relay second number pin okay now we have motor positive pin and the motor positive pin is simply connected to the vcc common vcc point is uh, in this way we have completed the hardware connection of this project now we will see importance of each and every line from the code so you can see first line is import raspberry pi dot gpio gpio so basically if you want to use the raspberry pi gpio pins then you require this line then import time so basically if you want to add some delay in your code then you, you require this library now next line is gpio dot set warning gpio board so raspberry pi basically works in the two method as a raspberry pi compute board or raspberry pi bcm chip so in this project we will use raspberry pi as a complete board so to define as the raspberry pi complete board the this line will be used now the next line is gpio dot set warning to the false so basically when you run the project the raspberry pi gives you warning that whatever the gpio pin you have used is already used before so so to avoid that warning you should use this line now the next line is trigger pin 11 so ultrasonic sensor trigger pin we have connected at 11 number pin of raspberry pi so that we have, we have defined that pin here now echo pin we have connected to 12 number of raspberry pi then relay pin we have connected to 13 number then green led pin we have connected to 15 number and the red led pin we have connected to 16 number so whatever the pin we have used in hardware connection that pin we define here now the next part is whatever the pin we have used that pin should be working as output or input so to define that pin as output or input this line will be used gpio dot set set setup then pin name then gpio dot in or gpio dot out so let's say in this case the echo pin as working as a gpio dot input pin so that we have defined here gpio dot out setup then echo pin gpio dot in in this way if I, if i want to define the trigger so in this way if i want to define the trigger pin then uh, green led pin then red led pin then relay pin as output pin then we will uh, then i have used gpio dot out setup then pin number gpio dot out for all the pin because all the pin work as a output pin now the next is gpio dot output relay pin false so at the starting we have to give the default signal that is the false signal to all the pins so that all the pin work as a uh, all the pin will will not start so let's say if you want to turn off the relay you have to give gpio dot output relay pin to the false same green LED should be turned off and red LED should be turned off by sending the false signal on that pin. Then here waiting for the sensor settlement, this message will be print. Now the next is all this line like GPO dot output trigger pin to the true, then trigger pin to the false. So we first send the trigger signal from the trigger pin by using these two line. So once the echo pin detect that trigger, then pulse will be start and once the uh, sorry at the starting the echo pin will be set to zero and pulse time will be start and uh, after that if the echo pin detect that trigger wave then it will uh, it will detect echo pin as a one then pulse time will be end and the pulse duration is calculated based on this three uh, three line formula you can see pulse end pulse start so duration will be calculated then distance will be calculated uh, uh, based on this formula so we will get the distance between the obstacle that is water and the ultra wing sensor after that after that we are printing the distance print water level distance level then after that if the distance then after that if the distance is less than 5 that means the uh, distance between the water and the ultra sensor less than 5 then we have to turn off the relay so how to turn off the relay 
gpr dot output relay pin to the false then we have to turn on the green led then gpr dot output green led will true then we have to turn off the red led so how to turn off again gpr dot output red led false so, uh, so in this way motor will be stop working because we turn off the relay now let's say if the distance is greater than 5 then in that case we have to turn on the relay by sending the true signal then we have to turn off the green LED and we have to turn on the LED by sending false and true signal on the uh, both this pin by using this function gpr.output then pin number then signal so after that motor will be start so this is the basic idea behind this code so i hope you understand the code uh, and you understand the project now we will see how to run this project so before start, before run this project i would like to i would like to tell you i have used raspberry pi noobs os and if you want same os from me you should download the noobs os from my telegram channel and after you download that noobs os from my telegram channel please watch my video how to uh, install the os into raspberry pi then and then only you can find this os into your raspberry pi okay after you download the os into raspberry pi next file you have to download from my google drive link that is this one water level detection system dot five file this is your program file so if you want to run this project just double click on this file so once you double click on this file the file will be open in the thony browser and if you want to run this project just click on this run button so once you click on this run button you can see waiting for the sensor settlement so if you download if you connected the ultrasonic sensor as per my uh, video then and then only here you will find the uh, distance and your project start working. So this is the idea behind how to run this project.